Oh my goodness. This one right here, it sold super fast. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about bread and butter bolos, items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. These are items that I sourced cheap and sold for a profit. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, I am a long tail reseller, which means I list it and I forget it and it eventually sells. So let me know if you like the quick sales. I mean, we all like the quick sales, but if you're a patient reseller or if it's been listed so long, you're like, I got to get it out of my house now. Um, because I will tell you, there's a lot of items that I sell that have been listed a long time. So the first item I sold is this 2004 Keepsake 45th Anniversary Barbie Collection. And I actually sold this to a viewer for my asking price of $26 plus shipping. That was my sale price. I got this in a toy box from Auctions For You. That is her YouTube channel. I will link her down below. If you wanna see the full unboxing, that is on my channel as well. So basically she sells reseller lots to resellers and I bought it and this was mostly new old stock items. So this was a nice little bolo item and this was purchased from Pinky's second hand store and she has a great eBay store. So definitely go and check her out and give her a follow. Um, so that is a viewer purchase. She bought the Barbie item from me. And what she does is she says she buys it from me and then she resells it. So that's just her way of helping support the channel. And it's just really, really kind of her. And she's bought numerous things off me and just thank you so much. I appreciate it. Never expect you guys to buy anything from me, but you know, it is appreciated. So I just wanted to give a little shout out to her store right here, her eBay store. And, um, let's go on to the next one. The next item, oh my goodness, this one right here. So I know the story behind this one because it was like a super fast cha-ching. Um, this is a WWE chair. And I'm like, what is this? It came in a, I think it was a Mega Bloks box, this huge Mega Bloks thing that I put together. It's listed in my eBay store. It's kind of like a Western thing, but it was old stock and it was worth money. So I put it together. But this chair was in there and I'm like, this chair does not go in here. Why well, use Google Lens and the keywords and figured out that this item was a bolo um, and it sold super fast. I got it pretty much free because it was in with the Mega Blocks and it sold for my sale price of $39 plus shipping and it was a quick sale. The next item is this Monster High Claude doll. Um, this came out of the mystery toy box. It wasn't a mystery. I'm sorry. It was up for auction on Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger bought me the box. You can watch that video. I will link it down below. There's a whole like story behind it. You got to watch the video. You're going to be like, who on earth would buy that? And I can't believe these items are selling for so much. These are the overlooked things that people pass by because they are damaged. And Noelle knew the value and she shipped it to me as a gift. But this guy was missing his hand and he still sold for $19.50 plus shipping. This is a Boyd's Bear six inch plush and it is Carry the Carrot. It's retired from 2004. I sold this for a best offer of $20 plus shipping and I got it at the Goodwill bins. This is a Madewell women's skirt. I don't normally pick up skirts or clothing at the Goodwill bins, but I was doing the hashtag bins bingo challenge and I had to have a clothing item. So this is what I chose. And you know what? It sold pretty quickly. So I was pretty happy about that. Very lightweight, probably have a dollar in it. And I sold it for $15 plus shipping. Bins bingo into the YouTube search bar and it will pull up everybody that participated. Lots of channels. It was super fun. 
Here's another one of these. I got five of them at the Goodwill bins. They sold like wildfire. If you ever see one of these, pick it up. Sold this for $18.53 plus shipping. Probably have about $2 in it. And again, that came from the Goodwill bins. This little brooch, I got at a thrift store for 50 cents and it flew out of my store. I sold it for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. And it's an Atwood collection and Sawyer. This is a vintage handcrafted Connor Prairie dolls set. And this is what it looks like. This sat in my garage and I just, it just sat there. And one day I was like, I just need to list that. And I think think I got this at the Goodwill bins. I can't remember. Does anybody remember me digging this out of the bins from my Goodwill bins videos? I think I did. I sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. These are clown shoes. I was at a garage sale. It was a church garage sale um, and they had a whole box of Halloween items. Well, these big shoes, and when I say big, they're big old clown shoes. They were in the box. I sold these for $27.90 plus shipping. They are from 1978. So I probably had a quarter in them. This guy right here is pretty unexpected. It is a Bob Evans plush cranberry, the turkey. I underpriced this, I think, or it was just the right buyer at the right time. I sold it for $9.30 plus shipping and it sold so fast, um, just super fast. And I don't know why, maybe these are collectible. And I did some research, but I could, I don't think I found the exact same one. So I probably should have done an auction or um, just listed it high to see what would happen. If you have not seen these, this is a vintage Kathy Cruz doll. And let me show you the bottom of her foot. This is how they are marked. These are bolos. They are dollhouse figures. They are wooden and they sell for good money. I ended up taking a best offer of $25 plus shipping for this, and I picked it up at the Goodwill bin, so it's probably, I don't know, a quarter or less. This right here is a buck deer horn face mask Halloween costume dress up. I got this at the Goodwill bins, and a viewer was watching my Goodwill bins video, and she's like, I need that. So she came over, and she purchased this, made me an offer of $8 eight dollars which i happily accepted and the buyer paid shipping um so all in for fifteen dollars and sixteen cents i'm gonna say i probably had about a buck in this so if you are watching thank you for your purchase all right and the viewer that picked this up was mountain mama picks and here is her store so definitely go and check her out and give her a follow if you don't know how to follow an ebay store you just click on that little heart that will let you know when they post new items and it will also send you a coupon if they send out a coupon to their uh, watchers. So Mama Mountain Mama Picks on eBay. The next item is this VeggieTales North Arc. Oh man. Oh, I said North, it says Noah. I'm like, wait a minute. It should say Noah's, Noah's Arc. I forgot the S. All right. These also came out of the Goodwill bins. They were um, probably 50 cents. Sold them for $9.30 plus shipping. This is a Lego Jurassic World Xbox. It is sealed. I got this at a garage sale for $2. Sold it for $15.49 plus shipping. This is a 1979 keychain. This was in one of my Goodwill Benz videos. And after I released that video, I had so many people inquiring about this keychain. Everybody wanted it. Um, 1979 must be important to a lot of people. This was actually purchased from a viewer. And here is, uh, she bought it for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. And all in for $22.04. And this is her eBay store. It is Pelks 2011. I think I'm saying that right. And she has a lot of amazing items. So definitely go and follow her. Thank you again so much for your purchase. You guys, I really appreciate the viewer sales. Again, don't expect it, but it always just makes me smile. And I feel so appreciated when I do get them. Um, but again, don't expect them. So thank you all so much just for being here and watching. This is a vintage shadow box, 3D butterflies, and they're, I think, decoupage. That's what I put. 
And they're definitely dimensional. I got this at a thrift store for $1.25, sold them for $20, best offer plus shipping. This had been hanging around my store for a while. Somebody made me an offer and I went ahead and took it. These are Toms and these were a part of my hashtag. Actually, were these the bins bingo or these were my dumpster diva challenge? It was one of the two, but um, I think it was the bins bingo. I got these at the bins. They were a little bit heavy, so probably about three bucks. They were in great condition. Sold these for $32.50 plus shipping. If you see these, pick them up. This is a sing-a-ma-jig, and this is a duets. Uh, there are different ones. Some do better than others, so look it up. But they usually sell pretty quickly. I sold this for $16 plus shipping. And I got it at the Goodwill bins. Here's another Goodwill bins find. And this one was purchased from Thrifter Picker Shipper. And she just did her banner. And I love it. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, she's a Bolo Buddies member, friend of the channel, friend of mine. And she's got lots of goodies, plush and jewelry. So definitely go and follow her over on eBay under Thrifter Picker Shipper. And... She bought this monkey from me. She liked it. She thought it was pretty cool. I picked this up at the bins and I sold it for a best offer of $10.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Zuru hamster. It's an interactive live pet. It is a harder to find live pet. I couldn't figure out what it was at first. I'm like, is it a mouse? Is it a hamster? Like, what is this thing? But I finally figured it out. I took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. That came from the Goodwill bins. So probably about 50 cents. These also came from the Goodwill bins. They are Hanes Alive Full Support Control Top Pantyhose. They are vintage. I took a best offer of $7 and sold them for $13, or a total of $13.34. These are very lightweight, so probably a quarter, 50 cents in those. This guy is a 1999 Disney Pixar Toy Story Woody. This is not the string guy. This is just a floppy plush toy from 1999 and I sold him for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. He also came from the Goodwill bins, so probably had about a buck in him. This one right here is the Cuddle Barn Elvis Sings Jailhouse Rock Raccoon and I got this over on Whatnot from Zombie Bargain Hunter. So follow Zombie Bargain Hunter on YouTube. He specializes in plush. He's a great guy. And he is now on Whatnot, and he was doing a plush sale. So I paid $5 plus shipping for this guy. I bought a bunch of different items from him, plush items to resell. And this guy sold for $25 plus shipping. So he was doing animated items. And I love animated items because I put them on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. And then I... um list them to eBay. So it gives me some video footage for my other channel. I have that link down below in my link tree if you guys want to check out my other channels. So shout out to Zombie Bargain Hunter. Follow him on Whatnot and YouTube. He's again, fantastic. Can you source on Whatnot? Absolutely. Um, I probably, I'm going to say because I had the other items, discounted shipping on that probably had $7 in it and flipped it for 25. So really good margins helping out um, a friend, uh, another YouTuber, and making money. So that is a win-win in my opinion. I do have a Whatnot referral link down below if you guys would like to join Whatnot. You can use that and get $15 to shop. If you have not been on Whatnot, go check it out. Take that money, buy something to resell. It's a free $15. And if you want to sell on Whatnot, there's a referral link down below for that as well. And if you use my link, it's going to tell them that Bolo Buddies referred you. And a lot of times that will help you get accepted quicker. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here. A subscribe and another video down below. I would love for you guys to check out another video. And as always, thanks for watching.